Um, so it's been a while since I've done a story time, hasn't it? <sighs> this is going to be hard. The topic uh, for today's story time is going to be hard. Um, I need to get through. <clears throat> but try, I will. I will. I will try. So, it's time for some background on today's story. So, I have to. I have to. You mean I don't have to? But I feel like people need to know that it wasn't just that. And you won't understand it until later. But, I had a short-lived little mini-series of jokes on my TikTok account, which is uh, well over 50k now, which is just crazy, it's incredible, I'm ripping out, flipping just completely, mm, mm, so grateful, you guys are awesome. Anyway, I had a short-lived series of jokes on my account, which is called Closet Girl, and it was Misadventures of me talking to a supposed girl that was tied up in my closet and talked about just stupid personal things in the form of jokes and whatnot. Um, and that was, uh, it was meant to be a one-off thing and people seemed to really enjoy them. So what is a good creator to do but give his audience what he wants, what they want? Uh, so I made some more, you know. Uh, and made it one part awkward personal detail, one part like, uh, kind of erotic detail about her living conditions. Um, before I go on, I should preference, preface this by saying I never thought of it personally. I never thought of it as kidnapping, which is how some people chose to view it. I mean, I really can't blame them. But personally, for me, I always viewed it as a really, just really cute relationship, not kidnapping. Um, and I didn't really specify that because I wanted everyone to uh, interpret it how they wanted to, uh, how I feel art should be. Uh, everyone, that art is meant to be interpreted differently by everyone. And it is by sharing our interpretations of different pieces of art that we are able to experience and appreciate fully. So I, that's why I didn't really show, share my, what I thought, you know, I didn't like prove or disprove whether or not it was actually kidnapping or whether or not it was just a really kinky relationship. But in my head, in my mind, it was always just a really kinky relationship. So then I got called out by someone who did their best to be polite. Uh, which was appreciated. She was a very nice uh, SJW, uh, as far as SJWs go, usually. That is... That might sound mean, but just know that I don't mean it that way. And if you choose to take it that way, I can't help you. Um, anyway, she, she pointed it out and be like, Hey, how would you feel if your child got stolen and kept as someone's personal pet? And I just felt like crap for keeping it open-ended like that so that people could, you know, think that I'm trying to normalize it or anything. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry, so... What the point of this is, uh, that wasn't really the only reason why uh, I ended up taking down the Closet Girl videos. Um, I have a past of an inferiority complex. Um, I always felt inferior, and it was kind of like a, 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 a fire under my butt a lot of the times when I'm when I'm when I'm feeling revved up. That inferiority complex works in my favor because it's like a fire in my butt, and I just keep plowing at whatever I'm doing. I'm like, I need to be the best. I need to be the best. But when I'm not there. But I'm not there, I'm in the depths of despair. I'm just really depressed. 
so I turn to what most guys do, which is say it with me. Well, don't say it with me. That's close. The hub, the the videos of the of the fornication. So I just really do not want to say the word porn, did I? And there it is. There's the word right there. Um, anyway. Trouble with that and everything, and in between different uh, different treatments to try to get me cured, uh, my mother kind of at one point, one night, we were all at, at dinner, and she didn't let us leave the table. She didn't. She she knew about my issues and everything because that's what we do. We share, we, we try to share our issues up with my family. And what ended up happening is she started reading about someone who had kidnapped some person's daughter, kept her in a barn, fed her, uh, starved her, uh, raped her, the like. And Every so often, she would look up from the from the article and just stare me dead in the eyes, and I couldn't help but feel attacked. I couldn't help but feel attacked, and I got so mad, so mad. How? How could you do that? Could you, you, how could you assume? How could you even think? You're my mother. How could you think that I? And uh, that was the day that I lost a lot of respect for my mother. For my mother. So, had that backstory never happened, I probably would have looked at posts of that SJW and then just, oh, whatever. Take it however you want, but I know what my intentions were. And if it was truly bad, to talk about taking it down. that's how that would have gone if that other story hadn't happened. It just hit. Just a series of chords in my heart, in my mind, and everything. So immediately, I just took all of them down and I put it down. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna try to bring the, the series of jokes back again. So I'm sorry if you really liked them. I know a lot of you did. Uh, a lot of you really can't do that. It's a very Really, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna come after so much not story time videos and just come out with this depressing turd. God damn it. Oh. Anyway. Uh, see you next time, uh, whether it be uh, a tutorial video for cosplay or a TikTok compilation for cosplay, stuff like that. Uh, see you guys then. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, check out the merch store. It's, uh, uh, the new 50k merch design, you probably already have this, is on the, the store. The cool I freaking I want to get the beanies. I want to get my beanies. The beanies look so good. The beanies look so good. Thanks for the sirens. I get off. Um, I've been good, Daddy. You're welcome. <laughs> Unless you're depressed. Right now you're depressed. Probably bye.